Hello and welcome, my name is Parkin, today I'm playing some more of this War of Mine. You meet me back on day 33 where shit is still going on. We're surviving, which is possibly the most surprising part of this series. I've actually managed 33 days without everyone dying, which is a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Last night we got, quite frankly, quite a good haul. We managed to sneak in to the uh, heavily fortified building. Well, moderately fortified. There are a lot of people walking around with guns, so I, I count that as heavily fortified. Well, we managed to steal six cans of food and some other rubbish that I'm not so interested in, but everything's fine. Apparently, as if we didn't have enough trouble, Roman got into a fight with Bruno. Roman, you bitch, what are you doing? Hands off the chef. If Bruno dies, we're going to have some problems. At the bus step, my story. Oh, here we go, Bruno. At the bus station, I learned from the other commuters that we were under siege and no bus towards my town would leave. I was shattered. If it wasn't for me, my friend would have left the town and gone abroad for, to her aunt. But I convinced her to stay, and now... Now I don't even know if she's well. I haven't heard from her ever since the siege began. Oh, Bruno, you bitch. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Don't let me die, make sure I get some meds. God, he's a bit... He's a bit, um... Selfish old Roman, isn't he? Bloody Roman. What is he doing? Where is he? Very ha he's brung he's broken. Why is Roman broken? Why is everyone broken? Slightly wounded. Can I just leave this? No, I suppose I should probably use one of these. Okay, look, he's very hungry. Go and eat one of these. We actually have ten canned food, which is quite impressive. Especially considering we have six meals as well. Damn. Okay. Still not worked out how to make people smoke, which is kind of a problem. He's sick as well. Oh my god, Bruno, you've got some issues, man. Go and get some medicine. He's just completely shattered, this bloke. Look at him. Sick, slightly wounded. Nothing's going well. Tired, hungry, blah, blah, blah. I think we can give him another meal. Good old Boris. You've deserved it from last night. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Let's go and sick on meds. Yeah, get into bed, my dear chum. Okay, you give give him Boris. I mean you. <laughs> give him some medicine. Can we actually not give them medicine if they're broken? That's interesting. What is this? Is this medicine? Or is this a good slap around the face, which is what I really want to give him? Slightly sick. Oh, did I just... Oh, he's drinking with him. Oh, dear. Oh, well, that probably help, actually. So that's fine. You carry on. Come and, come and eat something. So actually, when they're drunk, they can do things. That's interesting. Unless he can't actually perform the action because he's drunk. Yeah, okay, damn it. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we'll get Emilia to uh, eat something. I could get her to take some medicine, but to be honest, Emilia has actually done fuck all, so I don't really care. Emilia, you dirty, stupid bitch. I don't know why she's dirty, although I suppose she probably hasn't had a shower for a while. Okay, I'll tell you what, actually, Emily, you can do something. Come over here and look at the radio for a day. Do something moderately useful, thank you. Beware of bands of looters roaming the city, it's best to lock your doors, blah blah blah. Temperatures are still very low, and besieged Porygon firewood is getting harder, blah. Okay, right. So, Emilia, come and put something on the campfire. Please. Please. Oh, we need to make some, some Tinder. I'm not talking about the dating app. <laughs> oh, dear. Emilia, what are you into, my dear chum? So, let's make something. We definitely need firewood. Let's make some of this. Or we could chop up some of our furniture, which would be even better. Okay, Emily, come and chop some shit up. Boris, my dear friend, come and craft something. I certainly wouldn't give Boris a saw or a hammer at this point in time, but obviously I have different <laughs> different motives. So here we go. He probably won't be able to finish crafting it, though, which is fine. So what do we need? What are we even working towards? I suppose just survival in general, to be honest. Let's chop this up. I feel ill. For God's sake, Emily, do something! So you don't go all the way upstairs and go, Oh, sorry, I'm not going to chop this up because I feel a bit sick. It's like, fuck off. Do something. Screw that. No, do it! 
Emilia, what the fuck is your problem? Do it. There we go. Thank you. God, such a la I swear to God, Emilia. I'm just going to... I'm going to throw you to the dogs as soon as I can. Okay, there's nothing else we can chop up in here. Which is absolutely fine. Go and fuck off, then. Good job. Actually, no. Come and put this down here. Maybe we should just get Boris to put some firewood on. Mm, I don't know. Whatever. Go on, Emilia. If you can't outrun a drunk, then what's wrong with you? <laughs> My throat is burning. I don't care. Shut up. There we go. Put some more on. There we go. Four. Good. End day. That is enough of today. Thank you very much. So where are we going to go tonight? This is the question. We're going to send him scavenging. You're going to get into bed, bed. You can guard because you're useless. Okay, what is there left? Huge amounts of food, huge amounts of weapons. Half of a ruin, but there are other, there are people living in the other... Oh, is that... Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, we could... I could bring the, the bar cutters for that, but I don't really know if I want to. City hospital, we could go there. They'd patch us up, but again... That sounds very boring. This is done. Quiet house. That's basically... Everything is gone. So... I'm guessing... We go to the ruined villa? Military outpost. Hmm. Let's go here. We haven't been here for a few days. I feel as though we might as well take one of these. And possibly... We can take... An axe. Just in case there's some firewoods that we could take. Or chop down. Or hack someone to pieces with. <laughs> All of which are very good ideas. Hatchet. You're dead? Hang on, what? I'll kill you. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, so as soon as you get your weapon out, bloody hell. Well, we've learned something new today. <laughs> Fuck. I did not realise that would happen, although I suppose... Note, a bit of indulgence. Um, I suppose... Oh, the cold days have passed! Wow! Okay, that's brilliant. We're finally through the bad bit. We survived the winter. Winter has gone. Okay, here we go. Boris went looking for supplies, but couldn't find any useful. Emily's feeling better. Bruno's feeling better. Roman clearly isn't well. He could do with some pills. Well, I fucking would. But he's being useless and he's broken. Where is he? Roman! What is wrong with you? I can't die of sickness, I want to live, do something. I will, look, I'm going to try and give you this. Oh, he's not depressed anymore, so we can actually give him some medicine, which is very good indeed. Sick. You sick bastard. So it's now 14 degrees, which is lovely. We don't have to worry about the cold anymore, which means that we can stop using all of our tinder on here, which is good. Come on, Roman, take the bloody medicine. Emilia, you are useless. Come over here and look on the radio. They'll probably have something to say about the winter. We're happy to announce that it's getting warmer. The temperatures should continue to rise in the upcoming days. This may bring some relief to the citizens of Porygon. What else is going on? Fresh vegetables are becoming a rare commodity. Their prices will be gradually rising. So, I think this is the whole idea of um, the economy in the game, where uh, rising prices obviously... Um, mean that you can start trading certain things for more, but at the same time, I don't actually have any vegetables because I've not invested anything into it, <laughs> which is a bit silly. Although I do have quite a lot of canned food, and canned food is just ridiculously expensive, so you could argue that it's probably quite... we're still okay. You don't really need to worry about food that much. We could grow some vegetables, but then it does use a lot of... a lot of... Um, we could do with another bed, actually. Can we build another bed? Just for during the daytime, although I suppose you don't really need a third bed, do you, bloody hell? Okay, well, how much is it? That is a better question. Eight and six. Sure, let's make another one. That's hardly anything. We'll place this here. So someone gets the upstairs bed. They don't have to s sleep in the grotty downstairs area. Screw this! <laughs> Come on! You're building your own bed, for God's sake. Do it. 
If you build your own bed, you can sleep in it. Is that the is that an actual phrase? I can't really remember. Am I going to do it? Should I chop the chair up? I suppose I could do. In fact, Boris, come down here. What's everyone else doing? Tired. Sick. Recovering. Sick. Recovering. Emily, get out of bed. Come and finish this for him. He's being stupid. Roman, you are a lazy bum. What have you done in the last two weeks in the game? Nothing. Because you're fucking useless. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So we can make another filter, which are now actually quite useful. So let's make three filters. You can get into bed. We need some water, I believe. Actually, we have 26 water, so we probably don't need to worry too much. We should have dug a lot more snow, because then we could have made more snow... Late. Although, no, that doesn't make any sense, because it uses the same amount of snow as it does a, fi a single filter normally, because obviously you just filter the air or whatever shit happens. How do they even get water? Is it just from the rain? I guess so. Okay, well, I have noticed. I have noticed indeed. Look, get into bed, stop moaning. Bloody hell. We haven't actually had anyone visiting us for a few days. Maybe everyone's died because it was winter time. That's probably what happened, to be honest. So we'll make these filters, put them in, and then we'll get the rat trap reset. Where's... Where's Boris? Oh, there... God, I forgot we had that other bed. Okay, so here we go. Let's put this on here. Boris, slightly wounded, bandaged, depressed, very tired. Let's make one of those. Boris, I swear I won't take you out tonight. We're going to go and raid some places. We'll go and raid the hospital. With bloody Roman, because he's fucking useless. And I want him to do something moderately useful. He needs some rest. I know you do, Boris. Stop being a crybaby now. There we go. Right, let's use our last fertiliser. <laughs> Very last fertiliser, and then we're going to end the day. The night. Right. Oh, damn, I didn't feed people. That was a bit of a mistake. Okay, you can sleep in a bed. You can... Guard. You can sleep in a bed. Why is everyone so depressed? I suppose it is kind of depressing. Wow, we can go everywhere. Look at this. Why can we go everywhere suddenly? Okay, well look, we'll go here. We'll take Roman. Prepare. And we will take one of these, because I know for a fact that there's a, a thing there. And we'll take this. Scavenge. Shame about the amount of space we have. But at the same time, we can clear this out and we can always come back. We don't need to worry about food or anything else, so... Whatevs, as the kids say. We have come here and stabbed everyone once before, so I don't know whether they're going to be instantly hostile to us. Who are you? It's fine, I'm, I'm a friend. Promise. Promise, promise. Isn't everyone dead in here, aside from the father? Oh no, look, there's one over here. Ah, oh, look, there's... There's shit I can saw. Interesting. Did I not loot the bodies before? Or was I probably... I was probably just trying to escape, wasn't I? Okay. Wood. A single wood. Definitely worth it. Who are you? Help! Help! Hey, what are you looking for? Don't act stupid, just leave. I swear to God, I will stab you in in the face. Can we sneak? Stab her! Stab her! Stab her! Stab her then! <laughs> Why are they just... Fucking hell, what are they doing? There we go, dead. No, it can't be, please speak to me! No, I'm gonna stab you in the face! There we go, and now stab him, please! That was my last mag! Oh, the father's dead. I need some rest. That person hasn't even noticed. Wow, okay then. I feel a bit evil, but at the same time I've killed so many people now, I just don't even care. So let's take this. Oh god, I think they're coming through. Maybe I should... 
Let's go in here. I should eat something. Yes, my knife <laughs> in your face. <laughs> here we go. Hello. Die. <laughs> oh, God, it's so aggressive. Okay, well, now we can get everywhere, and I guess just not even worry about being killed, which is quite nice. Nothing worth taking. Just some guts. There we go. More stuff. And then there's some more personal stuff here that we can take. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff up there as well. More meds. Wonderful. That's what we need. So I think sickness is our biggest enemy right now. Some more rubbish here. I think we probably took most of the good stuff from these personal areas. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> Personal area. Okay, God, shut up. What's wrong with me? What's up here? Oh, some bloody good stuff, I would hope. Well, look, they wouldn't leave these locked in here. Good thing I have a saw blade. They start cutting. It is very good indeed, Roman. First time I've ever done that. Okay, the item's broken. I don't care we got in. That's all I worry about. Broken rifle. Sure, we can probably trade that for something, in the very least. What else have we got? We've got some of this, which we can stack as well, which is very good. Nothing particularly expensive in here. I suppose that's a risky run. Nothing. Okay, well, that was lovely. Let's go down here. I think we've probably looted basically everything now. I don't know. Only oh, no, there's some more stuff. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I did not know this was here. My god. Okay, well, we're definitely coming back here next time. <laughs> my god, I did not realise all this was back here. That's probably a bit of an oversight on my heart part, anyway. I think we'll probably do one more night today. So have we not got... We've not got saw blade now, have we? Damn, okay. Well, let's go up here. Maybe we can just get in here. Who knows? There's a mark on the wall and a few words. Here lies Roxy, the best dog in the world. My god, not Roxy. Damn it, Roxy. What were you doing, you stupid dog? Okay, well this runs the exit, who cares? We'll come back this way. I just thought it was the church. I did not realise that there was all this other interesting stuff here. I was about to say, it seems a bit weird considering I've looted everything that the map said that there were only 57% of items looted. Definitely worth coming back. Unless there's fighting, which I really hope there isn't. Good job, Roman. You did moderately well. Now, if we can send uh, what's-his-face over here, Boris, then we can probably carry basically everything else that's over here. Day 35. We're almost there. Look at this. If it only goes to 45, then we're very near the end indeed. When will this shit end? I don't have another death on me. I think he's getting a bit upset. We've been raided. Someone tried to rob us. It's quite a tough group. Tough group. But we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. None of us were wounded. And attackers didn't sit. We used three ammunition. She's coughing all the time. She looks severely ill. He's feeling better. We need to keep an eye on him. He's feeling better. Roman is starving. We must get him some food. Okay, we'll come and eat one of these. Oh, bloody hell. He's broken. I'd rather kill than get killed. Whining is useless. These people are dead and nothing can change that now. Good job, Boris. You have the right idea. Uh, thing, whatever your name is. It pains me to see my friends starve. Roman massacred those people. Okay, so here we go. Right, so, Emilia. Emilia, my dear. Come and get something to eat in terms of medicine. But Bruno, come and definitely eat, my friend. What's wrong with you? Who else have we got here? Emilia Boris. Boris, come and eat something. Oh, he's broken. Oh, damn it. Maybe we can speak to him. So if they're broken, you can't give them meds. That is very interesting. Okay, Roman, my dear. Roman, my dear. You need some food. I will bring you some food. Emily is going to do something useful. She's going to waitress you. Is that... Is that a verb, to waitress? <laughs> I don't think so. Wait. To wait upon you. That's a thing, isn't it? There's no point anyway. 
eat your damn food and be happy about it. Tell you what, I'm bloody starving. Roman, you deserved something for killing those people. You are good for you are good for something. Very hungry. I wouldn't mind another helping. Well, you can have another helping, actually, because we have a lot of food. So lucky you, Roman. You lucky bitch. Okay, so we need some more saw blades. If I can saw, um, what's his face, Boris out, then that would be very good, because then we can carry a lot of stuff tomorrow. But I think the likelihood of that is probably quite low. How is he doing now? Slightly sick, hungry, broken, tired. Okay, look, Emilia, talk to him. He needs some talking to. He needs to be shaken up. I think the mental health of our group is very low, actually, which isn't particularly helpful. Roman, I can see you're down. So get up again, please, you bitch. Okay, well, this. I don't know if the... Does, does it matter if we wait for them to get better? I suppose they're finished now. Is he feeling better? Hungry, broken. Can we feed Boris? Boris, have a canned food. Maybe it'll make him feel a bit better if he's not hungry at all. Come on, Boris, get your act together. We need you. We need you in this family. Are right, you feeling better now? Broken? That'll do for now. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <laughs> I don't think that's an exact quote. Okay, well, let's, let's get old Bruno here to take some medicine. We are actually really low on our meds at the moment. I don't know what's happened. I like how during the winter, when it's severely cold, no one got ill. But now, after winter, everyone's ill. What the hell, game? What the hell? Damn, it's been several days since I last smoked. Well, if I could figure out how to make you smoke, I would do it. Does anyone in the comments know how to make him smoke? Let's end the day. I don't care. Whatever. Okay, so, depressed, he can't do anything. Damn it. Sleep in a bed, then. Stupid bitch. Sleep in a bed. Um, we will send severely ill. Sleep in a bed. Scavenge. Oh, God, Bruno, I don't want you to die. St. Mary's Church. Well, there's... Probably not going to be anyone there, so we'll take a saw blade. We'll take a couple of... a few saw blades. No, we'll take a couple of saw blades, and I should probably do it. And a scavenge. I don't think there should be any more than two bars to get into this place. And there certainly won't be any resistance. Right, so you go down here. Good old Bruno, he hasn't been outside for a while, it's about time he did. There we go. Right, so, let's get him to saw this. There's going to be a lot of clearing of material, but to be honest, it's fine. Good thing I have a saw blade. They start cutting. They're so happy, aren't they, when they have a saw blade? <laughs> My god. How one could be so happy. I have no idea. And so there's some good stuff here. Nothing. Well, that's not a good start. Nothing. Clear the bloody thing. I really need a shovel, actually, don't I? That would really help. We could, of course, just go through the top. Fuck this. Let's just go through the top. Bruno, what the hell? Use some common sense, man. You can probably just go through the door here, actually, can't you? Unless both of these are locked, and that's why there's an underground bit. That's locked. If we go up here, is this locked? No. Okay, well, let's go in here, then. Makes things a bit easier. Please find something, for God's sake. Is there anything here that I can use? Oh, was that a person speaking then? What was that? Only trash and dirt here. No, oh, there is no one here. Oh, this is the other end of the tunnel, so we really didn't need to go down here, did we? Let's open this up. Oh, God, there's just rubbish everywhere. It looks like a bomb's hit this house. In fact, a bomb probably has hit this house, which is why it's so rubbish. In fact, we don't even need to clear that rubble. We can just come down this way. Let's open this up. See if there's anything useful. Ah, there is something. Well, that's not great, but at least it is something. Let me open this. There's a lot of rubble. Oh, is that a person? Hello? I don't know if that's a person or not. So for now I'm going to search the rest of the house. Let's come up here. 
problem is I don't really want to take the risk if it is a person. I'd rather just ignore them whilst I can. I'm sure it's just a rat or something, because why would a person be out here? I mean, honestly. Who would go outside, for God's sake? We are gamers. We don't know what outside looks like. Sadly true, because I do. I actually do go outside to go to my job, but then I'm just sat looking at a computer all day, so technically not. <laughs> right. We'll break through this area here, check these two rubble mounds, and see what we can get. It's said that there was still about 40% of stuff that we could loot, but I'm not totally convinced. Oh shit, that is a person. He might be friendly. So there's just a random person here. What if he is a mentor? Let's see. Maybe this? This neither. He's probably searching. Nothing! He's probably searching for, like, through his collection of dismembered heads. Oh, is there anything in this one's eyes? No, there isn't. Fucking eyes. Oh, no, that is a bit creepy. Oh god, is he going to come up here and hear me doing this? I hope not. Maybe I should stop making noise if he's coming this way. No, he's going back outside. We might be going upstairs there. Ooh. I should really build a shovel. I think he's coming upstairs. Oh god, okay, we'll come downstairs quickly. Hello? I just cleared that for no reason. Just some trash. Is he searching this place? Hello? Are you friendly? What? That was your last mistake. Okay, yeah. Time to go. Thank you. Well, can we actually leave? Thank you. <laughs> Bloody hell. So they actually do have scavengers in the game. I did not realise that. I suppose it does kind of make sense. Seems like a good day. Outbreak of crime. <laughs> that sounds absolutely fantastic. I got nothing. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. Damn it, Bruno. Emily is pale and coughing all the time. She looks severely ill. Okay, it seems like a good place to end it. If you enjoyed the episode, please read to leave your support in the comment section below. Just leave ratings. So let me know if you're enjoying the series and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward. <laughs>